Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the less command. So let's get started. Okay, the first step you want to take is to open up your terminal, and you can do that using the keyboard shortcut, which is holding Control, Alt, and pressing T, or you can open it up from the GUI. Okay, so the less command allows you to view the contents of files in much the same way that cat and more allow you to do it but it's got some extra features. So to demonstrate this, I'm just gonna CD over to my desktop. And as you can see, I've got a file here called treasureisland.txt. And that is the book Treasure Island. So there's definitely gonna be a lot of text in there. So to start off, let's use the cat command. And we're just gonna cat Treasure Island and hit enter. Now, as you can see, it displayed the contents of the file, but there is actually a problem. And that is that cat has reached one of its limitations, which is it doesn't really deal with large files very well. So, as you can see, this is definitely not enough text for a book of this size. So, let's just clear the screen, and we're going to use more. Now, more allows you to view the contents of files a page at a time. So what it does is it loads a page at a time. So let's just type more and then treasure island and see what happens. As you can see, we're starting off at the beginning of the book. And if we use the spacebar to go down a page at a time, you'll see that there is definitely a lot more text there. A lot more. So that is actually displaying the whole book, but it does lack some functionality and features. So let's just use Q to exit out of more and clear the screen. And now we're going to use less. So we're going to type less and then treasure island and hit enter. Now, as you can see, we're starting off at the beginning of the book. And to scroll down, we can go a line at a time using the down cursor key. Or we can use the enter key to go down a line at a time. Now to scroll even faster and go down a page at a time, we can just use the page down button or the space bar and that will take us down a page at a time. And to go up through the document a page at a time, we can use B to go back through the document one page at a time. Or we can use page up or to go a line at a time, just use the up arrow. So that's how to scroll through the document. Now, let's just say that we wanted to jump right to the end of it. To do that, you have to use an uppercase G. So if we just hold shift and press G, it takes us right to the end of the document. And to go back up to the top, you can type one and then a capital G, which will take you straight to the beginning of the document. Or you can use a lowercase G, so let's just Go back to the end using a capital G and then a lowercase g to jump right to the beginning again. So there we go. So that's how to jump from the beginning of a document to the end. And that can be useful if you were looking through a document and you knew that the information you were looking for is right near the end. You can just capital G and then use page up or the up arrows to go back up through it. Now, to search downwards through the document for keywords or patterns, what you can do is use the forward slash to tell less that you want to search for something downwards through the document. So we're at the beginning of the book right now, but if we were halfway through the book and we wanted to search through the last half of the book for something, then we would use the forward slash. So forward slash, let's type in a keyword, so spot, as I know this comes up in this book, and hit enter. And there we go, it's found the first occurrence because we were at the beginning of the file. And to find the next one, just hit the N key to find the next occurrences, and you can keep doing that. And it will keep finding them until, there we go, it's found the last one. So it says pattern not found, which basically means there are no more patterns within the document that match my search criteria. So we just hit enter. 
So that's how to search downwards through the document from wherever we are. Now if we just jump to the end, we can actually search upwards through a document. So if we were say halfway through a document and we knew what we were searching for was maybe in the top half of the document, rather than jumping to the beginning and then searching down, we can actually search up using a question mark. So you just type a question mark and then what you're looking for, so spot and hit enter and you can use n to find the next occurrence so just remember we are working backwards now so it's going up through the document and you can keep hitting n until pattern not found so it's found the last one that it is within the document and if we hit enter and just scroll up just to prove that it was going upwards through the document you'll see that we're now at chapter 3 and we started off right at the end of the document so that's how to search upwards through a document and finally to exit out of less you just use the Q key so as you can see less has got a lot more functionality than more and cat when it comes to dealing with larger documents and searching through documents so you could say that less is actually more and that's part of the reason why it's called less so to find out more about less you can just have a look through the manual pages by typing man less and you'll see that less has got a ton of extra stuff you can do with it so it's a really useful command to know and know how to use. So that's the end of that tutorial on less. I hope you found it useful. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.